In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you two methods to quickly add opacity to the beginning or end of a video clip. Like other users, I was disappointed to see that the new version of PowerDirector took the opacity line out of the timeline. We hope they return it. Here's two methods to put one in quickly. One takes on average about 16 seconds, the other one about 26 seconds. It's not as good as if you had that feature back. I'm offering this just in case it might help you out. Let's do traditional keyframing. All I need to do is highlight the clip I want to keyframe, press the F2 function key. I want to make sure I have my object settings open on the left side, and I want to make sure my playhead is all the way to the left, and here it is. So I click a diamond on the opacity value at the bottom, and I set the time code. Let's say I want to go five seconds, press enter, and then I click the diamond again. Now the default for each of these is 100%. I go back to the beginning by clicking the left arrow and take on my opacity value down to zero and click on OK. Now I have a five second transition. One, there we go. Easy as that. On average takes me 26 seconds or less. Let's look at another method you can use if you want to try it. The other method is you highlight the clip you want to use and you click on transitions. And under transitions, if you look in all the categories, there's one called general. And in general, there's one called fade. Now you see I've made fade a favorite by clicking on the lower right corner and turning the heart on. This is going to make it faster to find this in the future. So let's pretend I've done that already. So instead of going to the transitions and digging through the menus, I simply click on my content, my favorites, and there it is. And so I'll take the fade and I'll drag it to the beginning of this clip. You can force it to the beginning, not necessarily between if you want. Again, I can use the time code on the clock and set it to as long as I want. Let's say we'll make this a long one, 10 seconds. It'll lengthen it. Then when I start to play it, we'll have 10 seconds to go from pure black. If you want any kind of other progression inside of your fade, you can use the keyframe method we used earlier, which isn't that long. This takes on average about 16 seconds. The other one's maybe 10 seconds longer. We hope they return the opacity line in your timeline display. Until they do, we hope this helps you add opacity to some of your video clips whenever you need to.